high second grade. Today, we are going to use a new addition strategy. This strategy is called the doubles strategy. Have you ever heard of a double? You might use the word double in your everyday life. Like maybe if you get a double snack, instead of one snack, you get two snacks. Or maybe you get double computer time, where you get more computer time than you normally do. Today we're going to learn about how doubles work in our second grade math class. Let's take a look. Here is a poster that a teacher has made with all of the different doubles. What do you notice about the doubles equations? Do you notice that we're adding the same number two times? That is what a double is in math. It's when you take one number and you add the same number. So four plus four is a double. The number's not here just one time, it's here two times. 10 plus 10 is a double. You might even see bigger numbers as doubles. 100 plus 100 is a double. It's when we take one number and we multiply it by two, we double it. If you look at the poster on the page, you will see some pictures to help you think about what these doubles are. Now, as a second grader, it is very important that we practice these doubles. By the end of the year, our goal is to know all of these very quickly. So let's read through them together. One plus one equals two. You probably already knew that one. So that one you already have in your head. Two plus two equals four. You also probably knew that one. On the picture, we have two paws and two paws to give us four paws on the dog. Next is three plus three equals six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you use touch points, you can do that very quickly. Four plus four equals eight. On a spider, it has four legs on one side and four legs on another. That gives us eight legs total. And next is five plus five equals 10. You also probably know this one. We have five fingers on one hand, five fingers on the other, five and five give us 10. Next, you might not know this picture very well quite yet. Those are eggs and eggs come in a pack of 12. Now, sometimes they can come in other sizes, but a lot of eggs come in a pack of 12. They have six on the top row and six on the bottom row. Six plus six equals 12. Next is seven plus seven equals 14. There are seven days in one week. But if we have two weeks, then we have seven days plus seven days, which gives us 14 days. Eight plus eight equals 16. You might have a pack of 16 crayons at home or at school. Some crayon boxes have more than 16. But if we have a box of crayons, and two rows, if we have eight on the top and eight on the bottom, that means we have 16 total crayons. Two more to go. Nine plus nine equals 18. Wow, that
that's a big number and that one's a little tricky to remember. So make sure you practice that one at home. And last is 10 plus 10 equals 20. If you look at the picture here, we have one friend, two friends. If one friend has 10 fingers, then that means two friends must have 20 fingers because we have 10 and 10, which gives us 20. It's very important that we practice these a lot second grade because our goal this year is to make sure we know these doubles in a snap. Let's look at some more strategies that we can use with doubles. Okay. Let's look at a new strategy with our doubles. Now, like we said, as second graders, we are practicing these doubles all the time. If you don't know them all in your head quite yet, that's okay. We are going to keep practicing them a lot this year. Let's say I have the problem four plus four. Now, if I don't know it yet, maybe I could use some touch points. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, four plus four equals eight. Now, if I know that equation, what if I have this equation? I now have the equation four plus five. What do you notice from the first equation to the second equation? Do you notice that the first two numbers are the same? And the second numbers, five is just one more than four. This is called a near double, or your teacher might call it a double plus one. Because if I know that four plus four equals eight, then if I just added one more down here onto this number, I just need to add one more onto my answer. So instead of eight, I know that it will be nine because I went up one. I just added one. This is a great double strategy for us to use in second grade. As long as I know my doubles, I can solve so many equations as a double plus one. Let's try another example of a double plus one. Now, let's say that I know the double six plus six. Six plus six equals 12. I remember those eggs. There were six on the top and six on the bottom. Now, let's look at our next equation, six plus seven. These two numbers are the same. They're good to go. But these numbers are not the same. I added one. From six to seven, I added one more. That means that in my answer, I will also add one. So instead of six plus six equals 12, I can use my doubles plus one strategy and do six plus seven equals 13. Let's try a different problem. On our screen, we have five plus five. Now, second graders, a lot of you probably already know what five plus five is. You have five fingers on your left hand, five fingers on your right hand. How many total fingers do you have? 10, very good. Now, what if I have a new equation on the bottom? It looks pretty close. Let's check it to see. Five and five, those are the same. Good to go. Hmm, but in this problem, I have five and it goes down to four. So did I add one? or did I subtract one? 
I subtracted one. You can also use this strategy. It's called doubles minus one. That means that we went down from our double. So if I subtracted one over here, that means I need to go down one in my answer. Let's see, if I put my 10 fingers up and I take one away, how many do I have left? I have nine. So in our strategy, we can either add one and go up, or we can subtract one and go down. These are great doubles strategies. All right, second graders, let's practice on one more slide together today before you do your activities from your teacher. Let's look over here at our first problem. We have three plus four. Now, what is a double that's close to three plus four? I'm thinking of three plus three. I know that three plus three gives me six. Now, I, it looks like I went up one more for three plus four. So that means I'm going to add one more to my answer. So instead of six, three plus four equals seven. Let's go down to our next equation. Next, we have five plus six. Now, anytime we have a five, I like to think of five plus five because I know that as second graders, you know that equation. Five plus five equals 10. But when I look right here, five and six, it looks like I added one. I went up. So when I put my answer, I'm going to need to go up one. So I have 10, 11. So my final answer is 11. Let me circle my final answer over there too. Two more to go. Seven plus six. Hmm, well let's think. I know seven plus seven. Seven plus seven equals 14. Now my first two numbers are the same. My second two numbers are not the same. I went from seven down to six. That means that I subtracted one. I went down. So on my answer, I need to go down one. 14 minus one gives me 13. And one more. Nine plus eight. Let's use, hmm, let's do eight plus eight. I'm thinking of my crayons. Eight crayons on the top, eight crayons on the bottom. That gives me 16 crayons. Now this is interesting. In this problem, my two numbers that are the same are in the second spot. They've always been over here in the first spot, but now they're moved to the second spot. So these two numbers are the same, that's good. Let's look over here. We went from eight to nine. Did we add or subtract second grade? We added because our number got larger. So we added one. That means that in our answer, we need to go up one. Which number is after 16? 17, you're right. Second grade, remember, it's so important to practice these doubles. I know that you'll do a great job with them. And don't forget, you can use our doubles strategies to practice when we add.